What's up guys, Chris here back with a new video. Today I'm going to be doing the first unboxing uh, in a series of unboxings, in a series of videos, uh, where I'm going to build a custom Glock 19. And it's going to be 95% garter parts, and unfortunately I still need a couple of parts from a KJW Glock 23 as a donor gun. So, um, basically, the story behind it is that the Glock 19 is, so far, with the experience that I've had with different models and, and whatever, uh, Glock 19 is my favorite pistol. I would have preferred a Glock 19 Gen 4 MOS, preferably, but uh, that's not available uh, as of uh, the recording of this video. So, we're going to be, I'm going to be building a custom KJW by Garder Glock 19 Gen 3 gas blowback pistol. And so in this video we're going to be doing uh, the first unboxing of the parts that I've got. So the reason why I've decided to build this is, as I said, the Glock 19 is my favorite pistol. I have probably in my possession right now four or five different Glock 19 models. Um, I've had the WE Glock 19 Gen 3, WE Glock 19 Gen 4, uh, Stark Arms Glock 19, I've had two of those, or three actually. I have the Stark Arms Glock 19 with the steel slide. Uh, a long, long time ago I had the KSC Glock 19. Uh, but anyway, all, all of those have problems or they're not like the the ultimate Glock 19. So in the last 6 to 12 months Garter have released a ton of Glock parts for the Tokyo Maru platform and the KJW Glock 23 platform. And with those parts you're now able to build a almost without a donor gun a complete Glock 19 with steel parts all the way through, um, you know, upgrade parts or reinforced or whatever they like to call it. And so that's what I want to do here. The, the, the Stark Glock 19, they look great, but there are, I mean, there are problems with the internals. Uh, I've heard a lot of people having the the sears or hammers breaking and whatnot. The WE Glock 19s are decent out of the box, but they don't look that great. I've had the the HK3P versions of both the Gen 3 and Gen 4, um, and um, you know they're they're decent. But with this, I'm trying to go. All, all out. Uh, so uh, let's see what else was I talking about. Yeah, the KSC Glock 19. I'm not. A, I'm not a fan of KSC or KWA. So anyway, here's what I did. Uh, I'll put. I'll post a link in the description so you can get a better look at this. But this is basically an Excel sheet of. All of the part uh, I, I started by looking at the exploded view for the KJW Glock 19 or Glock 23. Uh, basically, all of the parts and components. I made a corresponding Excel list here. You can see in the column called item. We have the slide, front side, rear side, blah blah blah. Basically, listing all of the parts. Then I went ahead and tried to figure out like which. Uh, which parts can we get from Garter, uh, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and here's the thing. You can get Garter aftermarket parts or some other type of art aftermarket parts for everything except the hop-up housing, left side, right side, hop-up uh, arm, um, the screws for that, the, the, you can use a maple leaf wheel if you want. Uh, let's see, there was something else that you could not get. Yeah, I think pretty much uh, a couple of the screws that are required. That screw, 
It's not included. Um, anyway, it's a very, very short list of parts that you can't get upgrade parts for. So I made this list. Then I went to my favorite uh, retailer sites, looked up all of these, and um, basically put together a product list of what I need. And then I found the, the, the parts in stock at my favorite retailers. The biggest order was with WGC Shop, which I absolutely love. They're great. Uh, I got a couple of parts from Kick Taiwan and some parts from Airsoft Global. And I will also be using a couple of Glock, real, real Glock parts that I think or that I know at least on the WE platform work. So the Glock parts I'm using are, let's see, the uh, I'm going to be um, modding in a real locking block pin. We're going to use a real slide stop lever from Glock. We are going to be using a uh, trigger pin from Glock, magazine catch from Glock, and a trigger housing pin from Glock. Um, so yeah, that's where we're at. So let's go ahead and uh, the first package here is from Airsoft Global. And uh, as per usual, I've already had a peek at the parts. So in this package we have Garter Tokyo Marui Glock 17, Glock 26. Uh, nozzle valve set or what I like to call the floating valve or rocket valve and blocker so that's those are the parts that go in the actual nozzle uh, quick clarification here that um, let's see yeah the garter parts they have a lot of parts for the TM Glock 17 and some other platform and then they have like parts specifically for the KGW Glock 23 because Tokyo Marui does not make a Glock 19 yet so the Glock 19 slash 23 parts are geared towards the, the KGW Glock 23 but what I found or at least what I hope, hope I found is that you can use if you buy all of these custom parts you can use some of the for example I think the the nozzle there's one I'm sorry yeah the nozzle and the blowback housing no the nozzle is available in KJW style or TM Glock 17 style KJ G23 and then the nozzle was was TM spec only so I figured I prefer the TM spec parts so I I built everything as much as possible from TM spec parts and I'm hoping I'll be able to get a working gun uh, together from all this so next up we have the uh, Garger enhanced loading muzzle as they call it or nozzle I, uh, I call it for the Tokumuri Glock 17 so that's what I was talking about there's one for the TM Glock 17 and one for the KJ Glock 23 platform and the, the only difference that I could figure out since the the blown back housing unit for uh, is universal for both I figured I could go with the TM nozzle and the difference here is the the window for the gas wrap rubber is curved on the TM and it's flat on the KJ next up we have a KJ Glock 19 slash 23 steel recoil spring guide also by Garter, of course. Uh, I've bought a separate recoil spring kit for this. And the final item in the Airsoft Global package is the uh, steel inner chassis or steel rail mount for KJ G1923 uh, KP03. Yeah, that's what KJ calls the model themselves. So that's what we have in the first package and what I would like to do is go over my exploded view 
and just check off everything. So part number nine, we have right there. We have part number seven. We have part number eight. Uh, and we have part number five, which is the screw. And we have part number six, which is the nozzle. We have the recoil spring guide. That's not applicable here. We have the spring. Uh, I'll put a check there, but we're uh, I'm getting a separate part for that. That's not applicable. We have the guide itself. And we have the uh, inner frame, part number 30. Don't think there's anything else in there. Nope. Right, and I also want to check off my Excel list. I'll do that off camera. You don't have to watch that. So basically with the unboxing, I'm going to be inventorying to make sure that I actually have the parts to build an actual full block. So. All right, so that's it for uh, this first video, just kind of an introduction to what uh, I'm trying to do here and the unboxing or unbagging of Airsoft Global parts. So uh, I'll see you guys in the next video and uh, take care.